Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Dan for the Mortgage Update. Today we're going to go over my website and be, don't turn off yet. And the reason why I'm, I'm saying that is many times I put things in here like blogs and new programs and all kind of stuff that I think would be helpful for you and with you and to you. Um, but I, like I said, I, I forget to put on YouTube and my apologies for that. So periodically, if you would go to this website, um, you know, you'll be prompted when it first comes up to go ahead and add it to, you know, add it to an alert system. So every time I put something on here, you'll be alerted of that. Also, thinking of that, please, if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If there's some, if there's some information that you really think you could find useful, put it down in the comment section. I'd love to do a YouTube video on that and go into great t details about that because there's so much information on the web that's just, it's just wrong. I, I hate to say it as I, you know, it's, I, I'm sure that people aren't trying to mislead you, but it's just bad information. Um, and the tough thing with the mortgage business as well as credit is the pendulum is always changing. Programs are changing all the time. Scoring models changed actually recently in a very good way. And that's why I did create a website called credit scores and more.com. Check that out if you would. But um, going on the website, here's what I want to go over today. Well, I just added a new mortgage calculator, so you might find this very useful. And I, I had a tough time, and the reason why I haven't had one on here is because it never puts in, like most people don't put down 20% um, of a down payment. So you need what's called PMI. So just use the factor that pops up on here. That'll give you a pretty accurate uh, number when you go through. So you'll put in the, the purchase price and all this data, and it'll give you a really accurate um, calculation on the mortgage. But if you would also over here, you can rate me. Uh, you can see some of the ratings I have on Facebook and things like that. So please, anything you can do to help, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. But what I want to go over today is my recent blog that I did. So again, make sure you, you visit back this website every once in a while, or at least once a week, and you'll probably find something new on here. So we're going to go over today is the biggest thing going on right now is you hear of down payment assistance programs. There are some good ones out there. There are some bad ones. I'm honest with you when you call. I'll tell you which programs are good, which programs are bad. I have some programs. Honestly, if you have money to put as a down payment, many times I'll try to, I won't talk you out of it, but I'll, I'll give you the pros and cons about getting a lot of these grant programs because, you know, there's some fees involved. Uh, sometimes there's a lien on your home and things like that. So I want to go over this, these programs with you today. There's about five or six programs here that I offer to you. So many people, if you go down through here, this is where I put why my realtors or my partners in real estate, you know, are they selling more homes this year? And the reason being is they're educated and I have a ton of programs that most realtors don't even know about. So if you're looking to buy and your realtor, you know, please have your realtor check out this website, check out my blog. And they honestly, trust me, they'll be able to sell more homes this year. So let's go over these programs. Um, starting at the beginning here, there's a program in Illinois and I'm a, I'm a broker in Chicago. And the biggest program in Illinois is IDA. Um, it's sponsored by the state. So that's my, I won't say my biggest competition. It's a great program, nothing against it, but there's options out there. So I want to go over those options with you because many times you might not qualify. So my programs are, and I won't go in the you know, nitty gritty detail because I don't want you to sit on here for a half hour, but the IDA program goes up to a grant of 7,500. Mine will go up to 20,000. The rates on my grant programs are lower than the IDA programs. The fees are much lower in normally than the IDA programs. Credit score requirements. Most IDA programs require a 640 credit score. Mine requires 620. Um, the IDA program has a five year lien on your home. If in fact the program I put you into for the down payment assistance has a lien on the house, it's for three years, not five. And that could be that could play a big, big difference in these in uh, in your life. So let's say you get transferred two, three years down the road. Um, you know that might be you paying back this grant money or you not paying back the grant money. So let's go over some of the FHA programs I have for you. And this these this uh, down payment assistance we I reference this as DAP. Um, it'll give you between three and four percent of the loan amount in grant money, which you have to do to see if you qualify for the grant programs. 
uh, there's there's income restrictions on there. So basically the restrictions are, let's go down to here. This is the probably the best way to, to explain this. You can get a 5% grant down in this area if your median income is less than 80%. Here it's 115%. This program here, you can get these programs, this these um, uh, down payment assistance here. It's Again, it's 3% of the loan amount, 4% of the loan amount for FHA and VA. USDA allows 3%, okay? Where you want to, the, the biggest qualifications on this is your credit score. You do not have to be a first time home buyer. That is huge. Um, the, the one thing on here, in a lot of times FHA and USDA and some certain programs, you can have what they call a non-occupant co-borrower. So let's, let's say you're looking to buy a house, you really don't qualify. For, so you ask mom or dad if they'll co-sign for you to help you get in that first house. These, pro, these grant programs, you cannot. Um, income qualifications. What you want to do is check to see what area you fall into to see if you qualify for the 3% or the 4%. You can go to this link right here. I made it simple. But find the area that you're looking to buy, and then it'll tell you the, the median incomes in that area. See if you fit in, in, in what area you fit into, and then call me, and I'll tell you which, you know, do you fit for the 3% or the 4%. Um, debt ratios, that is your monthly expenses on your credit report. Not your cell phone bills and the gas bill and things like that, but all the creditors on, on your credit report, plus what your mortgage payment will be. You take that, divide it by your income, and this the, that income part, believe it or not, is an area where a lot of people mess up. They don't know, you know, is it my net income? Is it my gross income? I'm on Social Security. How's that factored? That's why you need some help, and I please call me. I'd love to help. Um you can still get a seller concession or seller contribution. I have other videos, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to make sure I link below the video that explains what is a seller concession. That could be huge because in these areas, you could basically, let's say you're going with a, a, an FHA loan. You need 3.5% down. Okay, so you get in this area, maybe you only qualify for 3 So you still need money, plus you still need some closing costs. This is where this comes into play, the seller concessions. Basically, the seller is giving you a credit to pay some of your maybe attorney fees, title fees, and things like that. Um, these programs, all these programs, it, you're, it has to be the home that you're going to live into. In, in I'm sorry, not into, bad, bad English, but where you're going to live. Um, and you can get gift money. So if you don't have all the money that you need, let's say you do need, you know, a thousand dollars when it's all said and done, that money can be gifted to you from a family, friend, or relative. Okay. That's the FHA program. Now let's go into the conventional program. It's very, very similar. The, where it kind of comes out of the box is right in this area, the debt ratios. If your credit scores run from 620 to 699, you can only go up to a 45 debt ratio. If you're under 700, you go, you can go up to that 50% um debt ratio again don't have to be a, a first-time home buyer you cannot in this program as well have a non-occupant borrower um gift funds are allowed in this area three percent max seller contributions up here you can have six so this one if you're a little bit short of money this is the route we might look to go okay i do have a program we call the power purchase all right right now freddie mac has a program that only requires 3% of a down payment, okay? However, in this program, why it's called a down payment assistance program, the lender that I'm getting you set up with or putting you through right now, and I don't know how long it's gonna last, so please take advantage of it, they're going to give you or contribute to you 2% of that 3%. So that's why it says a power purchase 2% grant. You need 3% total. They're giving you 2% of that three. So you can get into a home with 1% down payment. Okay. Here, there are income uh, restrictions for this program. So I gave you a link right here. Please go into that because you have to put in your zip code or the address of the property that you're looking to buy and make sure you don't exceed that income limitations. Again, in this you do not have to be a first time home buyer. There are a lot of programs out there. You cannot have a, have previously owned a home or you could have not owned a house in the last three years. So let's say you're, you just got out of a house. You've been in there for a while. You've been in there even since the crash. Now you're kind of breaking even on the house. You decide, okay, I'm going to sell this place and move on. 
um, but you still don't have a ton of down payment money. You know, the like, for example, the IDA program, you, you cannot have been a homeowner in the last three years, so you don't qualify. These programs, you, you can qualify. As you can see, all three, all th there's basically about six programs here. All of these, you do not have to be a first-time home buyer. You just cannot own another property at the time that you close on this home. Okay. Again, on this one, you cannot have a, what they call a non-occupant co bar Again, mom and dad, they're going to co-sign for you because you just don't qualify on your own. Well, they're not going to move in with you. They own their own house. So you wouldn't qualify for this program, but don't, don't fret. Call me. Let's see if we can put you into another program. Um, again, owner occupied only gift funds are allowed. You could look up this program, the Freddie Mac Home Possible Advantage Program. Uh, just look it up. That's the program we're going to actually put you into. And again, when you look it up, it's going to say you need 3% of a down payment. Don't worry because we're getting you two of that 3%. So that's where that comes into play, why we call it the Power Purchase 2%. We're giving you 2%. And in this case, you can get a 3% max seller contribution. So again, please reference back to my uh, previous videos that I did. And I have about 260 of them right now. And there you, you can find the seller contribution section in there. And it'll explain that in great detail. So um, again, I want to thank you for watching this. Um, I've been blessed to be do, being able to do this for 30 years now. Um, you can see on the on the website that I have, I'm a sponsor of uh, many Christian radio stations in the Chicago land area. I have been doing that for probably about 15 years now. Um, I'd love to help you. So again, thank you. Please don't forget, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, I'll be posting again. But if you have any comments, you, there's a video that you want to see or some areas that you just you, you're, you're, you're talking to different people. You're talking to your realtor. You're talking to mom and dad. You're talking to some other people and there's contradicting information. Please put a comment down below. Let me elaborate on that and give you the facts behind everything. So thank you. Thank you again so much for watching. God bless you. Have a great day and I hope to hear from you.